Hey, GearHeads, Jeff with Gear Report. Why don't I show everyone the Tepui Tent awning? It's a six foot six inch by six foot six inch awning that you see. It's all rolled up in a nice long uh, cover here on the back side. We have an aluminum rail that goes all the way across, and you can see where I've added. I drilled holes, put some uh, screws with washers and nuts on the other side through, and some mounting poles, one on each end that they're the same, and that's what we're going to use to mount it. So here on the back of the Humvee, uh, if we look at the back of the uh, rail here, we've got two fittings. This one in the bottom has a little washer welded up in it. So the po post will sit down in that. And normally when this was a troop carrier, it had a big bow that went across and there were four of them, I think, going up to the front and a big top went over it. So if there were troops sitting in the back on the seats, uh, they had a cover over them. Uh, now we left these on because it's the perfect thing to hold these poles that I put on. So Alan, if you will get that pole in there, I'll get this one here and uh, we'll get this set up real quickly. So it moves in, drops down. All right, both of them are in. So now we unzip the cover and push it back out of the way. All right. Yep, and we'll unclip these. And when I unclip it, this is gonna kind of come loose and unroll. So we're gonna unroll it out. Other. There we go. That's one of the ropes we're going to need, and these are the stakes. Alright, so we'll unroll it. Okay, now we got it unrolled. We've, can, we've got two things, and it's the same on both ends. So you see what Alan's pulling out. This is the post that it's, it's going to stand up on, so we'll do that on each corner. This one comes down. It's just a little, this rubber piece holds it by friction in the channel. So you grab the end, pull it down, that's gonna stand it up. And now, Alan, if you'll just kinda hold some pressure out on this, I'm gonna get the other poles just like this on the other end. All right, same thing as in the other, it's the same kind of uh, extruded aluminum piece here with them held in. So this is going to pull out. So we've got to, this, as you rotate it, it comes loose. And then when you turn it, it tightens. So we'll pull this out and it fits in the little hole up here. So now that it's in, We'll pull it out till it's taut, and then I'm twisting right here to tighten that. All right, Alan, if you'll just hold that. Yep, good. I don't think this one. We'll do the same thing. I just got Velcro to hold the pole. To loosen. Twi twist to loosen, rather. There we go. We'll pull it out. Get in there. Stretch it out tight and then twist to tighten it. Like you said, we've got Velcro in a few places where we can put that on. And it's actually, we haven't even put the, uh, the ropes on it to hold it in place because the angle of the poles, it just happened to hold. But we do have stakes comes with some stakes here. There we go. All right, so there we have it. So on a day like today, it's kind of cloudy. We may get some rain. We may actually want to lower, like what you're doing right there is uh, twist the pole, the lower section to loosen it and then made it longer to make this level. If it's actually gonna rain, we may want to lower that. So go ahead and lower it so now we have a slant up here so the water will run off so one side higher than the other yeah we could put both of them low so it runs back towards us we could put one higher than the other it's like if the sun is coming from up in this direction then we may put this in lower to give us a little bit better shade 
Um, you see how that's slanted so the water will run off. Um, got the support poles up under here on each side. You can see how uh, the little mounting bracket that I made uses these two uh, little screws, little machine screws with nuts on them, and this pole simply fits in those, and it's got the two little screws or bolts or whatever holding it on there, one on the pivot here, and that's it. So there we go. So now we have, if it rains, we have some shade. You can see they even seam sealed with some seam sealing tape on the, the seam there. I imagine if you get the 4x4 version that it's this section and then they add this extra uh, two feet on to make it the 6x6. Six six. There we go. This is from Tepui Tents. And they just call it the awning. So I'm actually writing the, the review for this right now. And once we get that posted, we are getting real close to them sending us a Tapui tent, the actual tent that will mount on top of the trailer, uh, which is not behind the battle wagon right now, but um, it's a, an actual, uh, like a pop-up tent. It will it'll be like an Overland Jeep configuration on the Humvee pulling the trailer with the tent on top of it. 